Hey guys and gals, I want to have a little chat today. Most of you know me. Most of you on this list of my subscribers are my friends. I've known me for quite a while. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm the kind of person that keeps abreast of things going on in the world, both here in the United States and all across the globe. And I've been very closely watching this kerfuffle involving PewDiePie, Felix Kelsberg, whose name I'm probably mispronouncing, and I apologize for it. But I wanted to talk about this for a minute. And I know tons of other YouTubers have made their opinions known and voiced what they think and what they're feeling. So I think it's about time I do the same. I am livid. Not at Mr. Kelsberg. Mind you, what he did was in poor taste. The jokes I do not condone in any way, shape, or form, nor do I support them. What I do support is the fact that he's a human being and deserving of respect. I have to believe somewhere in every single person on this planet, there is a shred of basic human decency and humanity. And that's what keeps me going. And from everything I have seen, both from comments on the internet, from the media, I'm really starting to question it. I have no clue what possesses people to believe that because one person makes a joke in poor taste, which let's be honest, we've all made jokes in poor taste, and has apologized for it profusely, that they should be demonized, that they should be labeled with some pretty terrible labels. PewDiePie as a character. And yes, he is. He's a character. We all wear our masks, and that's the one that Mr. Kelsberg decides to wear on YouTube. He is provocative. He's a revenant. Irre uh, not irreverent, irreverent. There we go. I can speak English today. This is how angry I am. I can't actually speak English right now. This is the character of PewDiePie. He's always been irreverent. He has always been provocative. Going back to his earliest sketch videos, you can see this. But when he crosses a line, he apologizes for it, learns the lesson, and moves on. <sighs> Labeling him an anti-Semite? A fascist, a neo-Nazi, a Nazi sympathizer. Detracts from the fact that And that is entirely 
unacceptable. He's two years younger than I am. He's 27 years old. I am 29. I will be 30 in June. And while I'm not a fan of PewDiePie, I'm not. I still can't condone people's treatment of him. So, to all of you, sitting back behind your desks, on your bed, on your laptop, on your phones, watching this, I want you to think really, really hard before you start typing away and become Genghis Khan behind a keyboard. I want you to think about what your respective faiths would say about this. Because I know every single religion on this planet, including Satanism, has a basic core rule. People often call it the golden rule. Treat others as you would want to be treated. If you happened to be in his shoes and made this mistake, would you want people calling you these things? Would you want people sending you threats? Would you want people maligning you after you very clearly learned your lesson? Before you post something, is it something you would say to your mother, your father, your brothers, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, or your friends. And if the answer is no, then do not post it. If your mother would slap the taste out of your mouth for what you want to say to another human being, Don't say it. And I cannot believe that as a whole, we have become a society of f fucking labelers. I cannot believe we have gotten so far away from the basic concepts of human decency that we would degrade ourselves to this level of a bunch of five-year-olds name-slinging. To Mr. Kelsberg. No, I am not a fan of yours. I am subscribed to your channel. I do occasionally watch your videos, and I find a good chunk of them to be humorous. I don't condone the jokes you made. And I don't stand for what happened with those jokes. But I will stand for you. You are a human being. You are worthy of respect. And you should be treated. To everyone else. I am thoroughly disappointed. As human beings, it is our job to strive to better ourselves, to better our families, and to better our communities. And by acting this way, how are you doing any of that? The level of disgust that I feel when I read some of these comments It makes me want to respond. And I've stopped myself up until this point.
I can't say any more on this. I'm going to be beating a dead horse here in a minute. Treat people with respect. Respect. 